In this video, we are going to continue with natural logarithms. You will find this on page 412 in the Namibia A is label mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. And again, I'm going to make it bigger. Okay, let's start. It is given that lin bracket y plus 5 bracket minus lin y equals 2 lin x express y in terms of x in a form not involving logarithms. So get rid of the logarithms. So, okay, so let's first start. So the first thing, we make this one term by using the laws, the quotient law. So we write, when it was subtract, there was two lin words. In division, there will only be one lin word. Okay, then, because I have one term equals one term, and I have a lin and a lin, I can take the lins away. Okay, so this is the principle I used. Then I'm ending up, with, okay, actually, okay, I didn't put in that step, but I think you understood that. So it's y plus 5 over y equals x squared. If you put it over 1 and you cross multiply, you get x squared y equals y plus 5. And then you are, b b but now there's two terms with y. So get the terms with y first on the same side. Then take y out as a common factor, and then it's x squared minus 1. And then I divide by this bracket, both sides, and there it is in terms of y, without a lock or a len. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do number one. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. So let's start. Number one. It is given that, okay, so it's making len, z, equals lin y plus 2 minus 2 lin y, where y is bigger than 0. Okay, express z in terms of y in a form not involving logarithms. Okay, so first, let's, we can, we can use the division there. Okay, I think that will be in order. Or, what we can do in this case, okay, first, let this one jump up. I think let's first do it like that. Now, there's two ways I want to show you. That's first the power law. You can either make this a division or you can take this to one, to one side. Uh, it's addition and then you can also add. But I think in this case, I'm first going to make it the, power, uh, the quotient law which is going to be y plus 2 over y squared. Okay, now I take the lens away and I get z equals y plus 2 over y squared. And that's the answer. Because they want to find it, so express z in terms of y. That was actually very easy now. Okay, you can also try the rest. 